Good morning. It is the Monday morning cup of coffee, contact lenses edition. I'm putting in my contacts a little bit now and then. I paid for them. I might as well use them. You've seen me with the glasses. Well, this is what I look like as a contact lens sort of person. And most of you do know that because you've seen the Now What album cover. I, I'm not wearing glasses on that. But I am wearing glasses on this one right here. Here it is, folks. The actual real record. This is Namaste. It's beautiful. I love it. And if you want one now... Uh, if you're a contributor to my fundraiser campaign, they're going out in the mail. Some have already gone out in the mail as I speak. Uh, everybody who contributes to the fundraiser uh, gets their copy right away. Uh, the general public is going to wait till May. That's when it actually is going to be released. And I'll not blame you. I'll not bother you again with my explanation why we're waiting till May. Oh, okay, sure I will. Uh, the promotion team I've put together can't work together until then, until about the beginning of April, which is when you want to start promoting something in advance of the record being released. So there you go, I've explained it, and uh, if you want a copy now, you can uh, Google Help Tommy Release a Record, and it should guide you to my GoFundMe page. And uh, I'm excited about it, I still like how the record sounds, people who've been hearing it are telling me they love it, so... There you go. Um, I have a few gigs this week, but none of them are for the general public. I'm going to the Folk Alliance Convention in Kansas City, Missouri. I'll be flying to Kansas City on Wednesday, and I'll be there until Sunday. And what happens at the Folk Alliance uh, is um, um, all sorts of singer-songwriters and folk performers and acoustic uh, Americana-type performers, they all coalesce at the Folk Alliance Convention, and uh, there are... Uh, official showcases that artists play down in, on the on the ground floor of the hotel in any of the meeting rooms and then upstairs on three or four different floors of the hotel all the uh, participants in the con convention take over entire floors of the hotel and in each different room a different um, bunch of folkies have rented the room and you go and you play in their hotel room at predetermined times and so there are like literally dozens if not hundreds of shows going on all at the same time in the hotel and you sort of go from room to room like a pollinating bee and you can hear one person perform in this room and another person perform in the next room over and and you can do that uh, showcases in the rooms go on till like 2 2 30 in the morning it's insane um, and but it's fun it's a lot of fun and you make a lot of contacts and you uh, learn a lot from going to the seminars during the day daytime and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be handing out promo copies of Namaste and business cards and uh, see if I can drum up a little business and that's all that's going on this week I leave Wednesday I'll get back next Sunday and uh, then uh, uh, the week after this one I will be in Muscle Shoals and Birmingham Alabama uh, the following weekend and that'll take us into March, and uh, I don't even know what I'm doing in March. Go to TommyWomack.com, look at the dates, and then tell me what they are, because apparently I don't know. Anyway, uh, what else to talk about? Um, rest in peace, Antonin Scalia. Mitch McConnell appears to believe that it's not Barack Obama's place to nominate a replacement uh, to Antonin Scalia. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what comments to make. I, I'm looking, I will tell you this much. I will tell you this much. Uh, 319 million Americans, and these are the choices we have up there. I like Bernie. I like the idea of Bernie. Um, do I think he could uh, win this thing? I don't really think so. I'm weary of Hillary, you know, um, I'm a Bill Clinton fan. I, I loved Bill as president. Um, I like Hillary as a person. She voted for the Iraq War. I'm you know still holding that against her. Uh, Cruz and Trump, if you even have to ask, how is this happening? Okay, I've gone political. We're heading into minute five of the Monday morning cup of coffee, and I've gone political. The effrontery. 
the it's it's a it's a it's a, it's just the way things are. I have to say something. Things are flarfed up out there, but uh, but uh, we'll make it through. We'll muddle through somehow. Don't let the bastards get you down. Have yourself a great week, if possible. Come to Folk Alliance if you're coming. Then I hope to uh, run into you there. In the meantime, keep your feet on the ground. Keep reaching for the stars. Put your nose to the sound hole and your wheels to the grindstone. And God bless you. <laughs>